Hello everybody, this is Fino, and today we're back with some more Duelist, and I'm excited, I'm excited to be back. I'm not really sure, I think today is just going to be a uh, quest day, we're going to do whatever we have to with our quests, and yeah, I'm looking forward to dabbling in some more decks. I really don't want to play Abyssian, I'd love something a little not Abyssian, Vitruvian, not as even great, but I can, I can, I can do it. Vetruvian at least so that's the plan should we toss together a new Vetruvian deck though that is the question um new deck um we've got Xerix summon a 2-2 iron dervish on a random space nearby your general and we've got your general deals double damage to minions this turn I've seen a lot of really cool artifact builds with uh Sionis, um but I've seen some really cool builds with this guy as well so I think we're just going to stick with Xerix uh, and see what we can make happen. Um, we're going to not do a battle pet. Siphon energy. Dispel an enemy minion nearby. No. Uh, Aurora's Tears. This turn your general gains plus two attack for every equipped artifact. So that's another. It goes into the artifact um, builds. It's really good. Um, lowers a minion attack to zero. Drop lift. Uh, what do we have? Destroy a friendly minion or turn its space into exhuming sand. So we're still missing quite a few cards. Whenever you summon a minion with flying from your action bar, this this turn, draw a minion with flying from your deck. Alright, let's disenchant any extra cards we've got going. Not a lot. Alright. Um So yeah, we're gonna go with Scion's first wish for card draw and buff. Give a minion blast, it can no longer move. Drop lift. Steal a random artifact from the enemy general and equip it. It's pretty cool. Um, Stone to Spears. A friendly obelisk gains three attack and may move and attack this turn if able. That's kind of cool. Bone Swarm. Deal two damage to the enemy general and all enemy minions around it. Um, Cosmic Flesh. Give a friendly minion plus one plus three and provoke. Dream Shaper. Draw two cards. Dunecaster. Um, do I really want to go with a, um, like a really basic deck? Do I choose an enemy? It can no longer move. Scion's second wish. Um, Falcius. I feel like I'm pretty much just building the that deck that I already had. Blood Surge, your general gains Frenzy this turn. Skippy! Put a random legendary artifact from your opponent's action bar into your action bar. Or your faction. Reactivate your general. That's pretty cool. Uh, reactivate and take control of an enemy minion with two or less attack. Deal six damage to enemies that are not nearby another general. That's pretty good. It's actually like really good. Um, so instead of building a new deck, let's just look at our Vetruvian deck and see what we can potentially pull out. Fountain of Youth we could pull. Um, I'm gonna keep Paxson for right now. Sounds Wish, Astral Phasing we can pull. Um, this is like a really awful deck. Inner Oasis we can pull. Um, so we've kind of got a blast deck going on here. Blood of Air. Um, so it's not a bad little deck. Dunecaster. But I don't have a lot of dervishes, so I don't... And I guess I have the Ethereal and the Lava Storm. So I guess this is really a dervish deck. Um... Yeah, let's cut the fire blaze out. Um, that's not bad. Return a nearby minion to its action bar. Your general has plus one attack. Also not bad. So if you guys... I know I've asked this a few times now, but if you guys know of any cool vet decks, 
feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. I have no problem um, giving it a whirl. I know in the past that one of my subscribers, I'm not sure which one it was, focused vet. So I'd be interested to see what you guys think of a actually like solid vet deck. Or if it really bothers you that I call it a vet deck. Um, can't be targeted. What do we have? We need three more cards. So what is a really powerful... Card. Windshrike is pretty good. Um, and grab an additional one of them. Let's grab two Fate Watchers. Save. Alright, let's give that a go. It's called Vet 2. No idea if it's going to be any good. I highly doubt it, all things considered. <laughs> I'd love... Oh, crap. I've never been great at playing Vitruvian, um, but I've always lost off like horribly to Vitruvian. I really want to get to a point where I have one of these. I just really do. This guy's got 500 wins under his belt. And he's bragging about it. I'm like, I got, I got nothing, guys. We've managed to beat players with lots of wins before. We will continue to attempt to do so. Ah, we got our scarab. Oh, he's scarab. Okay. So... Let's do this. I feel good about that play. Alrighty. So let's replace I'll leave him there. I'm trying to keep my board advantage so I can potentially trade a little bit more aggressively with minions.
Um... Ain't nobody got time for that. Let's get rid of Falcius for right now. Comes right back, which is perfect. We've got a little Paxi who could potentially give us something. I know a lot of you guys watching really don't like battle pets and don't like packs. I hate I hate playing against packs, which is one of the reasons why I choose to play with packs. Um, just because packs can be incredibly hard to deal with. That was a good play. Let me mess that up. He figured it out. That's okay. I'm keeping this just so that I can deal with any potential, like, big drops. He's getting higher up there with mana, and I want to be able to have that form of removal. It could still swing either way. We don't have a very um, significant advantage. Like that. He's now a prime candidate. Um, So I'm feeling pretty good right about now. Um, obviously, anything could still happen. Such as that. Should have run him away. Um, but we do have a Falcius. I think we have lethal... Well played, sir. Well played. 13 wins in a row. Feeling, I'm feeling good this season.
The deck, I don't think this deck is great by any means. And if you guys, like I said, have any ideas, what is up with that? that? Um, I'd love to know if there's anything. He's got a lot of wins. A lot of wins, guys. Um, if there's anything you guys would recommend me changing in the deck, let me know. Um, I feel like we have a pretty good start. We're going to be able to come out the gate, drop packs, and drop a Dervish um, factory. Obelisk. Um, Um, so I feel pretty good about that kickoff. Next turn we can drop, I think, Fate Watcher. Um, and just let him slowly get better and better until he has some form of removal for it. That was an interesting decision. Skippy! Um... Yeah. Oh, nice. So we've got a pretty pretty good board going right now. Well, it really it's really just going to come down to what he decides to do. And a lot of it's going to come down to RNG, I think, this time around. And see what keyword ability we actually get. If we get Blast right out the gate, we're going to be sitting really good. Um, because then we can buff him right up and just blast away. It's also going to allow us to... He's looking at him right now. It's also going to allow us to begin mitigating some of the distanced cards he might get. It's going to give us a really significant advantage... However, there's a lot of buffs that aren't going to be as great that we could also potentially see. Haha, it's Pax. What do we got? Provoke. Um, it's not too bad, actually. Well done. He, I think he could have come back. I don't know what he was running in his deck, but I definitely don't doubt at all that he couldn't have successfully won. It's 14 wins in a row. Um, I'm... Uh, it goes back to what I was talking about in the last video. Like, I feel like leaving and taking a step back from the game and then coming back and just playing it um something happened where i 
I don't know. I feel like I got better without playing the game. But again, I think it might be people left, people moved on. I mean, PAX is a really... I don't know. I know that because you can't control PAX, people don't like him because he's a battle pack. But a two cost, basically, you get a two cost, two one, two two, and two two out of it. It's easily one of the more powerful battle pets. Yo, get up out of here. We'll see what happens. Obviously, a low-cost blast card against Abyssian is pretty good. Good enough that he's going to whip it to kill it. Which is a bummer. That makes me a little sad. Also makes me sad. A lot of sad going on right there. That was that was a lot of sad. Um, I guess let's replace this. That's not helpful. Um, well, let's do this. See We're not doing incredibly well when it comes to minions currently. Um Pax is kind of the card that I was hoping would be able to assist with some of the minion there, but What's he going to play? There are some pretty powerful four cost cards that he could in fact drop. A Furiosa. Interesting. Um... I can't reach Furiosa, which is a huge bummer. So I think we make a tactical retreat. We see what he does. There's no way he's running a kitty. All right, so he's he's got a deck built around Furiosa is my guess. By the way, he's protecting him.
What is he doing? All right. So I messed that up. I messed up the positioning. I should have put Falcius up top. I'm not feeling as confident in this match as I have in previous matches. For obvious reasons. Yeah, I got nothing. I got nothing. We lost. We had a 13 win streak and we lost. Way to go, Vitruvian. Ugh, that's a bummer. Thank you. Exalted Quester. Cool. Alright. We'll do one more. We didn't we didn't have anything we needed. He had he was doing good. I mean I'll take a thirteen win. I mean it's, I, I'm happy with that, to be perfectly honest. We're in ladder 14 now. We are starting to see more aggressive, more rounded opponents. So, we'll continue to see what will happen. Well, that guy just looks like somebody crapped in his oatmeal. <laughs> Holy crap! Lots of wins. So this must be where everybody's been hiding. Um, guy's just scary looking. He is. He just he looks angry. Someone a one two crestfallen with zeal. Provoke in front of your general. He used a martyrdom on that. Man. Okay. I can't say. I mean, that's a, a bit of a bummer. If I didn't have this, what does this do? Yeah, this is better. This is better for the current situation, I should say. Um, flying, not bad either. Deal six damage to enemies that are not nearby another enemy. So people who are all alone. Uh, 
All right. We're looking for blast. I love blast. We got celerity, which means that could be really good for us. Um. Oh, crap. I forgot to do my thingy. All right. There's a lot of provoke going on right now. This needs to die. I, I can't kill it. Two, four. All right. Whew. Now we got this dude. So we're in a, we're in a fairly good spot. There we go. I was gonna say, <laughs> not to play. He he had a full hand and seven mana, and he still quit, which is a little. I, I don't know if I've ever had that actually happen before. We did just score a ton, like a ton of gold doing those quests. Hello, everybody. Um, let's... I think I'm missing the most from the Shimzar set. So let's do that. Yeah! Open up these bad boys. That's a little depressing. Razor skin. Give all friendly minions plus one attack. Put a random battle pet into your action bar. That's kind of cool. Sphere of Darkness. Turn a space into Shadow Creep. Draw a card. Katara. Backstab three. Golden Mandela. Opening gamut. Put a random battle pet into your action bar. It's a pretty good card, honestly. So, Saboro. Whenever this damages a neutral minion, destroy that minion. Cool. Don't think it's very good, but cool. Uh, wow, look at that. Aspect of Shimzar, transform any minion into a random battle pet. Oh, she's cool looking. Abyssian host, opening gamut. Double a nearby Wraithling's attack and health. It's not bad. Three cost, three, three. It's not great, but I'm sure there's an Abyssian deck that could make it work well. He's cool looking. Calculator. 
Five cost one one. Opening gamut. Gain the combined attack and health of all battle pets in your action bar. It's kind of cool. I don't know if anybody ever has run a battle pet deck. Um, Lightning Blitz. Give all friendly minions plus one plus one and randomly teleport them to your opponent's starting side of the battlefield. So that's pretty cool. Um, especially for a Vesper deck. Um, if you could uh, blitz over some of your cards that get buffed on the enemy's side, that could be cool. Whether or not it's actually any good in play, probably not. Dreadnought. Legendary minion. Uh, it's a f six cost four six. Egg minions you summon gain plus two plus two. And it has rebirth. When dies, it leaves behind an egg and can come back to life. It's pretty cool. It's actually not a bad card. Cool. There are cards that we don't have for the most part. So, yeah. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode of Duelist, please feel free to give it a like, give it a share. And, yeah, come back soon for some more Duelist or anything else fantastic on the channel that might interest you. So, yeah. Thank you all very much. And as always, till the next video.